So, crushed it. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's after, uh, geez, it's after eight. Um, youth group for middle school here at St. Joe's just ended and I'm a little sweaty. Uh, wearing a sweater was a tactical error because it was very active and very crazy, but it was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, so today was a good day. You know, usually I put this video out way earlier in the day, but just didn't get around to it. It's been a crazy day. There have been ups, there have been some downs. It's really been a good day though, full of grace and it's been wonderful. So I'm grateful to God. Yes, yeah, so this video is entitled, well, Who is God's Grace For? You notice the four instead of the word for, the number four. I'm not just trying to be cool. See, Father Larry Richards, the pastor here, he likes to remind us about what our place is in the order of things. Jesus first, then others come before yourself. So Jesus, others, then yourself. How he will say that, so it's an acronym of joy. You have joy when you do that. Now, how he'll put it is he'll, he'll say, I am third. And he'll, he, he, something really good that he suggests you do, and I do too, go and write that on your mirror in your bathroom so you see it every day. It's the background of my phone. So yeah, I'm reminded all the time, I'm third. Put others and Jesus first. That is the way of a Christian. But I was thinking today as things went well and some things went bad, you know how God's grace is there for everyone. Good things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people. But God is there through all of it. Loving you, holding you, walking with you. And I was thinking about how sometimes as, especially me, I can get hung up on what a person you know, has to do to come home. And what I mean by that is like this, okay? So think about it this way. You've got three circles, okay? So here's one, and that is the what of a person. That's like the outer, it's the outermost circle of these three circles. And, it, and it, it's just kind of like, what has this person done, maybe? Or what does this person think? What does this person feel? What's this person's opinion? You know, you get the idea. The what of a person. And sometimes that can not be in line necessarily with what Jesus said or what Jesus thought or what Jesus commands. Now, not everyone is a Christian or a follower of Jesus. So if you're not and you meet me, I'm not going to sit there and go, oh, like, what's wrong with you? You don't know. You're not, you, you're not expected to follow because you, you don't know. So what happens is, is I'll start thinking about the how this person is going to come back. And that's where it gets messy. Because, you know, maybe somebody has to change their lifestyle. Maybe they have to give something up that they really enjoy to follow Jesus, you know? And that can be really hard. I've had to do it. Everyone who's, who's wandered away from Jesus and come back has had to do it. It's tough to follow God. So that's the how. And I usually get really discouraged and I, and I quit. I quit on a person because I'm like, oh, man, that's never going to happen. They're never going to do it. But see, there's the middle circle. There's the why. Why would you give up something or, or, or end an a, a unhealthy lifestyle? Why? Well, because you love Jesus. The Ten Commandments aren't a bunch of no's to some sins. I mean, they are that, but the reason you say no is because you're saying yes to the love of God. There's a person. His name is Jesus. And he loves you. And every time we sin, we hurt him. So that's why we don't sin. That's why we try not to sin. And that's why when we sin, we come back and we say, I'm sorry. That's that simple. And if people were to start there, if I was to start there in the middle with the why, the how, that's up to God. And he'll take care of it. He'll give the grace. He always does. And then the what part? Well, that'll just change automatically. So let's start with that. Let's start loving people the way Jesus loves people. It doesn't matter what they think. It doesn't matter what they've done. Doesn't matter what I've done or what I think. What it comes down to is the truth. And the truth is, Jesus came, He died on the cross for your sins so that you could be with me, everyone else in the family of God, and Jesus, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, all of us together forever in eternity. But it starts with you and me sharing that love with anyone and everyone. Let's do it. Thank you for watching God's Grace on Tuesday. My name is Tim Rydberg. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out last week's video. Share this with your friends.
with this encouragement and all this kind of things. If we work together, we really can bring the whole world to Jesus. Again, thanks for watching. God bless. See you next week.